Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this very special edition of Mirror Prime with me, Ritangshu Bhattacharya. Now, on this edition, we are going to debate a possibly a world-ending event. A large asteroid is supposed to come very close to the Earth in a, a very short period of time, a matter of few years. Now, normally, you would put this down to a sensationalist report by some YouTube channel looking for clicks or some sort of a space watcher, perhaps trying to exaggerate it for the sake of creating drama. But we at Mirror now don't want to do that. The only reason why we are taking this report seriously, it's because it has been flagged up by none other than ISRO itself. So what is this report? A large asteroid called Apophis is expected to come very close to the Earth, according to the Indian Space Research Organization. This asteroid is expected to have a close encounter with the Earth on 13th of April 2029. That's less than five years from now. Studies suggest that in 2029, this asteroid may be a flyby and might not hit the Earth. But even if it does pass this close to the Earth, it could still be considered potentially hazardous. So what exactly is this asteroid which has been named Apophis? The name itself is a clue because it, was, it has been named after the Egyptian god of chaos and that's exactly what it can do if it comes very close to the Earth. It was first discovered in 2004 and since then it has been tracked very closely indeed. This next encounter with this interstellar god of chaos will be in 2020, 2036 after it flies by in 2029, that is, if it does not collide with the Earth. Now, of course, no other asteroid has come this close to our planet, and this is why it's a matter of concern. It's, to give you a sense of the amount of damage this asteroid can create, it's larger than the INS Vikramaditya, which is India's largest aircraft carrier. It's also larger than the Narendra Modi Stadium, which is, of course, the largest cricketing stadium in the world. It has an estimated diameter of about 340 to 450 meters, and any planetary body above a 140 meter diameter can be quite catastrophic. ISRO estimates even suggest that any asteroid larger than 300 meters can cause continental scale devastation. So now that I have induced a sense of panic in our viewers, hopefully not, let me try and get some clear answers from Jijit Nadumori Ravi, former scientist at ISRO. Thank you so much, Mr. Ravi, for joining us on Mirror Now. And I hope you can lay a lot of concerns to rest for some of our anxious viewers who are right now tuning into this channel. First and foremost, how scared should we be of this satellite, of this asteroid, which in less than five years from now is expected to come very close to the Earth? What are the chances of it actually hitting the Earth? And even if it does a close flyby, what are the possible consequences? Yeah, actually, um, what is a little bit concerning is that the threat level has been increased, and it is indeed considered as a hazardous uh, kind of a, a astral object. Uh, but most of the predictions says that it will be a very close flyby, and uh, the the kind of uh, probability of actually uh, crashing to the surface is very less. So uh, that is the kind of current assessment, but. Having said that, this is a kind of an asteroid which is coming closer than uh, some of the geosynchronous satellites that we have. So around 36,000 kilometers on the uh, above the equator, we have the geosynchronous satellites. But this particular asteroid will cross that boundary and it will be a little more closer than the uh, surface of Earth. And that's kind of a kind of concern. But most of the time, what is happening is that there is a kind of a very uncertain dynamics when any kind of uh, uh, celestial object is very close to the Earth's gravity, it, for example, it will mm. change slightly, alter the orbit of the the satellite. So there is a kind of uh, uh, a kind of tunnel uh, or a kind of a definition of a certain area where there is a kind of uncertainty, wherein you no know, certain parameters like the momentum of the uh, asteroid, etc., which can create a slight impact in its uh, vector, that is the direction vector. And it may come closer, maybe if it fit grace to the atmosphere of uh, Earth, there are, then also there can be possibilities of you no know, debris, like asteroidal debris hitting on the surface. And these are the kind of concern that most of the space agencies, including ISRO and NASA, is concerned about. So uh, it has been... So you are saying that yeah. even if its current trajectory is lining up this asteroid to pass very close to the Earth, the gravitational pull of the Earth may alter its trajectory and bring it even closer to the Earth's atmosphere. Yes, yes. So 
every uh, uh, planetary motion okay. like uh, closer to the gravity of earth the mathematically the entire orbit is well defined but there is a certain degree of uncertainty that nobody can predict so that is the uncertainty we are concerned about otherwise okay. it is supposed to just graze by and the leap okay. uh, without any creating any problem with that Okay, so my next important question, obvious question at this point is, how do we prevent it? Now, this has been, of course, the subject of sci-fi fantasies for years. Now, we have had several Hollywood films coming up with various far-fetched theories to try and prevent an asteroid or a meteor or a comet from striking the Earth. But realistically, can anything even be done if we do decide, realize that this is, of course, on a collision course? Yes. Uh, for example, uh, Israel has already have created a team because of, especially because of the same asteroid. A defense uh, team, uh, a kind of uh, okay. earth defense system has okay. been created by ISRO, but NASA is already having it much uh, earlier. And even other space agencies, uh, uh, ESA and then uh, Roscosmos. So almost all the space agencies have that kind of a division. And there is a kind of network of satellite, uh, like ground stations, which look at the kind of uh, observe this kind of uh, asteroids which are coming nearer asteroids, which is uh, coming to the, closer to the surface of Earth. So there are multiple uh, possibilities, uh, some of them even showcased in some Hollywood movies, where uh, you send a kind of a, a nuclear fissile material and then uh, fragment it, or there is an iron, uh, like uh, iron uh, pro projectiles, that is uh, ionized uh, okay. material projectiles onto the, uh, the surface of the asteroid so that it can be deviated from its current orientation, the direction of motion. So there are multiple ways in which uh, the impact can be avoided. Okay. And these are active. Uh, so all these things are activated okay. you know, for this particular asteroid as well. Okay, so there is no reason to panic. I won't even see evacuated Earth. It's not that we have options to get out. But I'll try yeah. and put a final optimistic spin on this entire story. This perhaps has been flagged up by ISRO's own brand new specific division meant to target uh, to identify these extraterrestrial threats, which is, if I'm not mistaken, Network for Space Objects Tracking and Analysis, known as NETRA. If nothing else, yeah. Dr. Ravi, this indicates that ISRO is now one of the preeminent space organizations almost on par with something like a NASA something, that it's not just for playing a catch-up game in terms of space yeah. exploration, but it's also leading the way in terms of identifying and alerting the world to such threats. Yes, NETRA is definitely a kind of an advancement in terms of monitoring these kind of the hazardous uh, objects which are closing near uh, nearby the earth and of course there is a defense uh, based uh, okay. component also has been started so it is on par with any other organizations like nasa or esa in terms of all these and even uh, in future they uh, already we have set in motion certain plans by which we have a space station as well in uh, 2040 so yes in all respects uh, we are in on par with other space agencies well, indeed, uh, it is a glass half full, glass half empty kind of an exercise that ISRO has flagged this threat off. The world is taking it seriously. It's, we have caught about less than five years to see whether we need to act a bit more urgently at this point. But the fact that we are aware of this threat is good news by itself at this point. Thank you so much, Jijit Nandumuri Ravi, former ISRO scientist, for joining us on this very short yet enlightening debate at this point.